Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. So this is our ninth video of our Django React tutorial series. In this series, we are creating an employee register application. So in the previous video, we have created the REST API with the help of Django REST framework package. Now in this video, we will fetch the data with React.js from our REST API. So let's do this. So first I will start the application. So I will start my frontend application. I will run the command npm start. Now from the components folder, I will open the list.js file because in the list.js file we will fetch the data. So this is functional component. I will make this class component. So class list extends react dot because we are going to render the data in this component so that I am making this component as a class. So now we cannot return directly the, the this uh, elements uh, in the class component. We need a render method. So in the render method, we can return the uh, return our data. So here, so this syntax will be closed here. So now this is our now this is our class component. Now what we will do here? We need to define a constructor and define the super method. Now in this constructor, I will define this dot state object. So this is different object from the regular objects in JavaScript. We will see how, what is the difference between the regular object, object and, the, and this is state object. We will see with example. So now I have defined this object, this dot state object, and I have set the, I will set the data as a array. So now what we will do? Now I have defined the object. Now we need to, I will create the function, fetch data. In this fetch data, I will use fetch API. I will use fetch API to fetch the data. And here I will define the URL. So we need to run our Django application also. So we have created this application. Now we will run this. So what we will do? PY manage.py run server. So this will run our Django application. This command will run our Django application. So now our Django application is also running. Now, when we click on this URL, when we click on this URL as an employee endpoint, then, then it will show the data. So we will use this URL to fetch data. So here I will put the URL and then, then I will fetch the data response and convert this data as a JSON. And then I will get the data and set this data this dot set state set this data data and this this is our this is our returning data in this data we have a response so now i have uh, now we have uh, we have uh, set up our data in the data property in the state object in the data in the state object data property now as data is uh, returning in this uh, object in this is uh, in this uh, state object in this data property now we need to show this data so before showing this data we we will use the component did mount this is a life cycle this is a life cycle hook of react.js so this component did mount what we, what it will do when when our uh, page is page is properly rendered when our uh, page element all are rendered then this component did mount will run so after rendering the template after running after rendering the component we will 
run this function so we will run this we are fetching this data we are fetching the uh, data from the api when our component is rendered so now let's go to the let's go to the application and here i will open the f12 and here it is it is saying that so we have defined the class not a class name so we need to set this so i will open the source app.js and here i will change the class as a class name so i will change it replace it and now we refresh this so it is saying that uh, it is actually saying that it is a cross origin because our react js is running as a localhost 3000 port and our uh, django rest api or django application is running on different port so this is these are different uh, origins so what we need to uh, what we need to connect this what we uh, how we will connect this so we will use the django core setter package we will use django core setter package we will install this with pip install and after installing this so i will open the django application so here i will open the django application and in the settings.py file in the settings.py file we need to define the they have a very beautiful documentation so we need to define in the installed apps course headers here we will define course header then they are saying that we need to define the middleware so we have a common middleware already in the it is already defined here so that i am using only the course middleware now we need to define cross course all origins so because i am uh, developing this as a local machine so i am using this variable course constant so this is a constant actually so course origin so i will here define course origin true so you can define you can also try these uh, these constant also you can try on yourself this constants so here i have defined the so this will so uh, this will prevent this error this will uh, <coughs> overcome this error that now we can connect this so you can see here we don't have any error of cross origin but we need to run our server <coughs> So here the server is running now. So we have uh, we don't have any cross origin error. So now what we will do? So we have our data now. Here I will I will show you the data. So console dot log data. Let's see this. So here you can see we have an array. So it, this array is showing the data. now we will render this data in this jsx templates in this in this uh, in this template so how we will do this <coughs> so before returning so in the render method before returning we will create a constant amp data so our data is in state dot state dot data okay so here i will also use the also use the map method so here i i will use constant rows equal to amp data dot map and here i will use map so this is a this is the map function we are using so now what we will do here so in the map i want to return this row okay so here i will do i will return this row and i will use this row in the t body and here we need to define the data m dot full name and then m dot email 
amp dot contact and lastly amp dot address and you also need to define the key because if you not define the key then this will generate error so this key is important so that it react will identify the particular the react will identify the particular element if uh, element has any change so here you can see we have a data so we uh, this data is actually coming from the rest api if i go to my rest api and add data here alexa alex alex at gmail.com and here i will add test address post so now we have a now we have a data in the we have a we have a two rows so if i go to my react application then it will show the two rows so we have successfully rendered the data with the help of uh, react js and django rest framework so if you have any doubt or any question please comment uh, please uh, com uh, comment in the comment section and if you have any improvement for me if you uh, any improvement for me then please also comment so thank you thank you for watching this video in the next video we will uh, we will work on that how we can add the data from the react and, and with the help of rest framework so we will add the data in the next video then we will update data and then after that we will delete the data so thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe this channel to get an update and please like this video and share this video uh, please like this video thank you thank you very much